Hey guys, it's July 8th, 2022, and I'm out on the Ultranautics Jetstar 1250, putting this boat up for sale. So I just wanted to show you guys that it does operate. Now, yes, the, the gas tank needs to be cleaned out, and the floors are very soft all the way around. They're basically completely rotted. Uh, but the boat rides real good, so you do some floors, do the gas tank, a couple other odds and ends. It does have a small water leak coming from either where the, the jet drive connects, or maybe a tiny crack in the bottom, I'm not sure, but the bilge pump works. You hit that switch, and there you go. So I would say it takes on, oh, I don't know, maybe like a quarter gallon per half hour. We parked it the other night and went to the to the uh, restaurant, and it was fine. When we came back, just hit the bilge. So here's the, the gas tank I have rigged up right now. You know, just have the hose going down there. This is not included in the sale because, you know, it's not USGS approved. But anyway, uh, it's in neutral right now. So you can just turn the key, fire it up, and... And go ahead and put it in the gear and start accelerating. A uh, little rough at idle. Carburetor needs some tweaking, tuning. I, you know, I cleaned it and such, but I think you got to get back in there and tweak around a little bit. However, at full throttle, it's banging, banging both cylinders. And you just wide open. And uh, I just took this all the way to Bristol and back, so about several miles. This tank has a vent on the top, so see how it's bogged down now. So I'm sorry. You know what? I I gotta turn the fuel off on this. Let's try that one more time. Turn the key, and hey, if it's ever not starting right back up, uh, let me show you one thing. You can't start it when it's in gear because it has a safety. However, if you put it back in neutral here and you pull pull out toward you, and then you go forward. Now you you can start it uh, and be able to work the throttle if you need to. You see that? But it's not really in gear. It still moves a little bit, but you push this back, and then you go into gear. And now we'll be running two cylinders again. There she is. Woo! Little jet star runs like a top. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, but yeah, I don't know. He runs good though. Sorry about the terrible footage guys. It's getting dark and I'm on the cell phone here. So I'm gonna get it all trailer now. up at 13 volts. That's the fuel gauge doesn't work. But uh, yeah, I got the trailer in the water already since it's a slow day. Now that I got all my junk out of the boat, I guess I'll do one last walk around tour in the dark here. Trailer is all rusty, but the frame is not rusted through in any places. Ah. It does have a detachable front tongue on it too, so apparently you just pull this pin and that'll come out of there. I never did that at all. Inch and seven eighths ball, does have the chains, but no wires as you can see. The lights do not work on the trailer. It does have lights intact, but you're probably better off just getting a whole new light kit. Brand new Carlisle uh, rims and tires, 4.8 by eight. Got those off eBay, some galvanized fenders too. Those are much newer. It does come with the buckle tie downs on it. There's a bilge plug, a look at the jet drive too. Reverse works on it as well, has a fold down ladder. You just pull up on this and then fold down to lock it out. It just automatically locks like so. Yeah, let's see, just trying to do one more walk around. I got this all dirty with all my crud, but this thing would polish up like really, really nice. Uh, all the cushions are here, actually in decent shape. One crack there and then you can see a mouse or something started chewing that. I do have the seat that slides in here too with all the cushions for that. Of course, it's gonna need a little bit of work. Here's a glance at the engine. Boom, look at that. Very clean, you can tell this has never been used in the salt water. Uh, so this fuel pump, this is a uh, vacuum actuated diaphragm fuel pump. The diaphragm was bad, so I just bypassed that for now, and that's why I never bothered messing with the gas tank. Needs a new fuel pump, you can probably get a new diaphragm for it, or heck, just throw an electric pump in there, probably easier. And you know, the fuel tank's up here, inside of there, so to get to that, you would just pull those screws out on the bottom, take the tank out, definitely want to clean that. It's got a little Velcro. Uh, right there for the glove box that works real nice and geez i'm just trying to think of anything else i can tell you guys let me roll under i think i did find the water leak when i was looking the other day where the water is coming from so i'll try and get under here I'll show you guys that i believe this uh, let me focus i believe this little crack right here near the jet drive that's like a little chip i mean you see it's 
kind of dripping water we we did just pulled out but i looked at this you know next day after having in the water and i saw still just a little bit of dampness right here now i think that's what needs to be repaired for the water leak again it's so minimal i didn't even mess with it the impeller inside of there looks great this is the the intake grate looks like an aftermarket one and again no rust through on the frame uh usually where they would rust through is like right on the bottom of here and that's nice and solid Here's looking up toward the front of the hull. The rest of it is, is you know, in nice shape. No, no problems anywhere. It's like a little tiny, I don't know what that is. The, the gel coat's not perfect on this thing. No title for the trailer. Actually, the guy I got it off said he, he could apply for the title, but he needed a picture of the, the VIN plate on the front and the sticker, and that's just completely gone, like they usually are. It's got this little uh, ski toe thing for towing a jet skier behind you. Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> you know, wakeboarder or uh, water skis. And here's just another look at this floor. You know, if you pull, pull this up, I mean, there's plywood that's just rotted through. So you really gotta just either throw something over top of this like many people do and re-carpet it or pull it up and do it right. One or the other. All right, well, that's the boat. Just pan out, go backwards so you can get a good look at it. It actually is a fun little boat and deserves some attention. Sorry about the long-winded window. Oh, sorry about the long-winded video and hopefully I didn't miss too much.